We're going to move to what appears to be the end of the search for a missing Ennis mother. No official confirmation yet, let's be clear, but police and family do believe that remains found about 24 hours ago are that of Emily Wade. We're still waiting on final confirmation, but Steve Pickett spent some time today speaking to loved ones involved in this now two-week-long search. Steve, what they have to say today? Well, they, as you mentioned, they believe that they have the woman. There is a toxicology report uh, that's part of the official formation of finalizing the medical examiner's report to confirm that identity, the toxicology report. But police I spoke with today say, yes, they believe it is the woman they've been looking for and believe her death is accidental. Flowers mark a memorial made for Emily Wade. The flowers just feet from a bridge still flooded from the surging flow of Chambers Creek. Searchers removed the body of a woman from the creek on Monday, about 600 yards downstream from the bridge. And this is police chief who came to this creek crossing today, said police are confident the body is Emily Wade. It's hard for any of us to believe it. Jared Jones and Emily Wade shared a daughter. He and Wade's mother called police back on January 5th after Emily did not come home after a night out with a friend, police could not find her or the car she was driving. Volunteers spent days searching, including the road marked with warning signs about high water. I've seen that road so many times, and, and you see the water, but you don't realize how deep it is. And if she tried to cross it, it would have just, I mean, the current runs so hard right through there. And this authorities believe Wade made a wrong turn and ended up on the dark, flooded road trapped. Her family devastated. Jared Jones had to tell his daughter the news. She loved her daughter, loved her family, and she was such a good woman and beautiful inside and out. I think in our minds we knew the outcome after this long wasn't going to be good, but we kept hope. We just kept hope. There was a car she was driving with Kentucky plates. You may remember this. Uh, police believe that car is in that creek. They say it's simply too dangerous uh, to search for that car right now. They'll wait for more of that creek water to receive before they try to retrieve the car that they believe is inside that creek. Uh, Ms. Wade was from Kentucky. She had only been back here in the Ennis area for three weeks before she disappeared. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS.